Oh, there's this Scarlet. Still there, I see. Which is good. Because, you know, hey, my crew's still there too. Nice. Fever up and away we'll go. That's not the right key. Hmm. Anyway, what a night. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm not more hungover, actually. Call that orcish constitution or something. Morning, Sally. How's how's the ship? Yes. Until next time. Ship's good, I take it. Have we got any more crew? I I have a feeling we're gonna be actually sailing on the Sea of Ghosts today. Properly, like around uh, Winterhold or whatever it is up there. I can't say as I'm happy to do with that in this weather, but whatever. Right, oh, that's Sully. This must be Jameson, right? Yes. Hello, Jamie. Or can I call you Whiskey? Mm-hmm, until next time. Right. <laughs> and we've got to maneuver this... Heh, <laughs> this big lug. <laughs> Out past the swamp. It's amazing we managed to do it the first time, but I've got faith in us, eh? Have you not done any work on the inside of the ship? Yes. Oh, we go see it then. All right then. Now this, I'll be very interested in. Well, step one, feed the... Hello, stranger on the ship. Oh, wow. We've got a cook. <laughs> Only the most important things first, I see. Excuse me, sir. Hi. Are you our new quartermaster? Right. Woolly. Until next time. We're gonna set sail, so, uh, you know. Do whatever you need to do. Make sure the cook has everything battened down and whatnot. Alright. Oh, wrong way, but... <laughs> uh, I've got to get something in here, because it's supposed to be my cabin, I think. It's not exactly an impressive cabin. Oh, good. Good, good. Crew's got beds. Probably do more crew, frankly, but honestly, I'm not sure how we'd manage that or where. Seems like everyone in Skyrim is sort of caught up in this war thing. So spare hands aren't really lying around, you know? Okay. Right. Whiskey. Sully. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get this girl on the water, shall we? Where are we going? Windhelm. That's the closest to rifting, I think.
Well, that works. Looks like the East Camp. Yeah. Looks like the East Empire guy, but he's been busy. Goads. Right. No, this is the second time I've been back here in a day. Uh. Well, there's not really much use in trying to paddle up that river because I know that there's a fall right there somewhere. So I guess we're over it. Suppose I could literally hoof it. Hire the carriage and whatnot. Where is there? She is way off in the distance. There. <laughs> oh, there's no getting that all the way down here. Damn faithless imperials. All right. Something to be said for passionate guards, I suppose. Hello. Not of Argonians on these docks. Hard workers, Argonians. Well, usually, sometimes you get the odd one that just sort of wants to sit bask in the water. Yeah, well. Courier doing courier things. It's going to be a long road to Riften, isn't it? I kind of don't want to do that. And I know I cleared a dragon out. But I don't really want... We've got Khajiit. Right. Oh, sir. Need a ride? You look a little bit frosty there. I would like a ride, please. Where do you want to go? Rifton. I'm sure you'll be uh, grateful for the change in temperature. Climb and back and we'll be off. All right. Oh, steady, old girl. Well, Horses and guars trying to negotiate for space. For so long, I have forgotten what it feels like to walk on warm sand. Yes, All right, the snow is sort mean. of My toes are numb from ubiquitous, the aren't they? The Front door. Here we go. You know, I'm honestly not that much of a fan of using front doors. However. I haven't explored Riften enough to know where all the back doors are. So, front door it is. Grelka, can you repair boots? Leather? If they're armored, you should talk to Balamund over at the Scorched Hammer. Porker skin, actually. Why in goodness name would you have it? <sighs> nah, never mind. Just bring them by my house later and I'll see what I can do. <laughs> all right. <laughs> The things you hear are ripped in. Right. Buy armor from Grelka. They really should pick this up. Oh yeah, well. To the flagon. As always. You 
know, every time I walk into this room, I expect a skeever to jump out at me. I'm not entirely sure why. All right. Oh, I do love it down here. It's just got a certain... Hello, Vex. Aesthetic. Don't you think? Uh, right. Delvin. Shall be troubling you. I'll listen. Uh... Right, I'm supposed to be bringing this to... Mercer. Never mind. Remember, keep it clean. We don't want blood on our hands. Oh, no, I'm the cleanest dog you ever did see. It's mostly because I spend a lot of time at sea. The water tends to wash stuff off, you know? Alright, let's see if I can remember how to get to wherever Mercer is. You, uh, you having a swim, Rune? So, the ending of my tale I began early. Is this your tale of single-handedly fighting off a pack of trolls? Oh, jeez. My favorite. Were you betted four women on the same night? Well, if you don't want to hear it, that's your loss. If I wanted to hear a tall tale, I'd read a children's story book. Get <laughs> some better stories, Vipper. All oh, right, miss it. Did Gollum I give up any information on our buyer? Oh, we're gonna have this problem again, aren't we? I'm too tall for you to be hunched over like that. Anyway, Golden Glow said... Golden Glow said, yes, Gullam I said that Golden Glow was purchased by one Kalaya. Like I should know who that is. No, it... it can't be. I haven't heard that name in decades. This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with again. Okay. Gullamai also told me she was a murderer. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my predecessor in cold blood and betrayed the guild. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. And she's back now, why? Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched each other's backs. I know her techniques, her skills. If she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. If only we knew where she was. <laughs> uh, partners, partners, or just business? Anyway, none of my business. Golemai told me she said... Where the end began? Mm, there's only one place that could be. The place where she murdered Gallus. A ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. We have to go out there before she disappears again. We? And let me guess, with a name like that, it's gonna be up near... For instance, Windhelm, which I just came from. Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers. All right. Well... Off we go again. Well... Mercer, you and your damn tricky doors. I suppose they must be a test of intelligence or something. <laughs> uh, speaking of which... I don't remember which way's out. Oh, well, that way's out. I don't like going that way. Oh, look at that. It's cute. Don't hit your head on the lantern. Uh, Prepare myself how exactly? Something, something. Should probably sell some stuff to Tenelia. 
Oh, just the women I want to see. Well, looks like you're fitting in well down here. I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? Sorry, I'm distracted by the guo in the background. Anyway. Uh, not like I've been wearing the guild armor much, but anything different about it? Of course. Otherwise it wouldn't be much of a reward, now would it? Your new piece will enhance your skill beyond that of the original. Trust me. Oh, I trust you. Eh, uh, how about a hood? Not like I usually wear one. But, I... Skyrim does tend to have weather. I might as well, right? Are you sure? Once I exchange it for you, I'm not taking it back. Unless you want to sell it at a discount, of course. Yeah, I about that. I should probably sell you a couple things while I'm here. But, uh, sure. Okay, there you go. Alright. I've got, uh, some stuff that needs selling. Well, that looks kind of interesting with this armor, doesn't it? Right. Uh, let me, uh, let me sell you some things. Oh, goats. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I watch Delvin's back. Yeah, that implies that there's more than, I suppose, Dirge's one too, isn't it? Alright. Who will you give me for these? Usual guild rate. Let's take a look at them. Does it ever really stop snow? Well, it's sort of not snowing right at the moment. Sort of still snowing anyway, though. Right. So. Oh, goes that's some fog. Right. I was going to say, Snowbill Sanctum is up there. That one, uh, the Dunmer down in Riften, pointed me toward a shipwreck out there, which, you know, I should probably check out at some point. And also not wreck my own ship out there. On the one hand, I could run all the way up. On the other hand, I could sail my boat, my little, the dinghy, out to the Scarlet and then run up. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> that was a bigger drop than I was prepared for. Yeah, well. You, uh... There we are. Skyrim isn't very friendly for Argonians, so we mostly just keep out of the way. Aye. Oh, sort of like that for orcs, too. Right, to the ship. Alright. Okay, there's just someone with a horse out there. Where's my crew? Probably below decks, would be my guess. No. I'm amazed we managed to get this thing in here. Anyway. Hey, Wooly! If anything happens to me, the ship's yours. I don't think anything's gonna happen to me. <laughs> Be back before morning. Probably. No. Oh. oh, the crap. There's probably a hunter around here somewhere, just... 
letting arrows fly off into the ether. Oh, it's that bastard down the You two want my boat? Wait a... Before I do something stupid, let me make sure I can actually make that jump. I... Okay. Come on, killing you will make for an excellent story. Will it now? <laughs> for which one of us exactly? You'll pay for that. Oh, I sure will. Oh. Right in the arm. Luckily it's the armored one. <laughs> right in the armor. Oh you. Bastards. That's the problem with having a really nice ship though, right? People see it, they want a piece of it. Right, which way am I going? Directly up the hill. That I can do. They killed the horse! Well, they got what was coming to them. I'm sorry, buddy. Goes. Uh, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I see why he was out here and not in one of the, uh... Alright, anyway. Not one of the cities. Ain't Moon Sugar illegal in Skyrim? I think it must be, but... I'm not keen on the rules as much. Oh hey. <laughs> I've seen that Shrine of Azura now. And of course it's blustery as all oblivion. Right, that didn't come out right. <laughs> blustery as all oblivion. All right. Come on. <laughs> Nasty things, trolls. Oh, hi. There's Mercer. Oh. Speaking of dead horses. Did you ride up here? Is that your horse? Good. You're finally here. I've scouted the ruins and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. Oh, I take it you saw her then? No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. Oh, you killed a horse, did you? All right. I'll lead. Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Well, to be fair, I'm about as blunt as this hammer, so I guess we'll see how that turns out. Before we do this, though, I've been told to keep it clean. Is it murder dark brotherhood territory, or more like Tom, depending on where you are in the world? I have a long-standing arrangement with the dark brotherhood. If I need someone in the guild taken care of, we do it ourselves. We both agree it's best to keep these matters in-house. Alright, fair enough. So, tell me about Carlia before we head in there Well, I'm completely blind about what her deal is. She was a stubborn Dunmer. Always had to do everything her way. 
but she was also the best, bringing in more coin a month than some thieves heist in a year. Gallus trusted her too much and let her get too close. That sounds to me like they had a relationship. If you want to call it that, yes. Me? I think she was softening him for the kill. Gallus would call her his little nightingale. He was absolutely smitten by her. So why did she kill him? Greed? Jealousy? Spite? Who can say what drove her to such an iniquitous act? One thing's certain I intend to find out before she draws her last breath. One last thing, Mercer. How did Gallus die? Twenty-five years ago, I was standing outside these very same ruins. Gallus told me to meet here, but he wouldn't say why. When I arrived, Gallus stepped from the shadows. Before he uttered a sound, an arrow pierced his throat. Before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found its mark in my chest. Kalaya took on both of you alone. Dang. Carlia was a master marksman, and her greatest weapon was the element of surprise. I was lucky. She missed my heart by mere inches. I staggered away from the ruins and my vision began to blur. It's then that I realized the bitch had poisoned her arrows. And Gallus? The last thing I saw was Carlia dumping his body into an opening atop the ruins. An unceremonious end for a remarkable man. To this day, I've regretted allowing her to escape, even if it meant I had died trying. I owed Gallus that much. And what happened after that? I know it's getting dark and very, very cold out here, but I like being prepared. The guild was thrown into disarray. Several stepped up and tried to claim Gallus's former position as guildmaster. Sides quickly formed behind these men, and the Ratway became a bloodbath. And you were part of this? I saw what they did to Gallus. I wanted to use the guild's resources to hunt down Carlia. The others didn't even care he was gone. Fortunately, I persevered, and the other groups were either killed or they left Skyrim. And what of Carlia? The infighting had taken months to subside, which gave her time to go into hiding and carefully cover her tracks. I spent thousands of septum and used every contact at my disposal. But it was as if she had simply vanished. Like I said before, she was the best. That tells me a lot, Mercer. That's enough of this unnecessary chatting. We need to keep going. Right. Hey, uh... Just so you're aware... I'm a lot tougher than I look. Eh... Uh, and also a lot... <laughs> taller than apparently these ruins were built. How do you... Uh, you go in through the top, don't you? You can call me an idiot, it's fine. Oh, well, that's... unfortunate. Uh, hey, Mercer, we've got a bit of a problem. I don't think I can pick that door. Eh. Uh, There's little time for talk, what do you want? The, uh... If you see Carlia, don't hesitate. Kill her. I. They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. Hmm, this one doesn't look too difficult. Oh, great. Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how. Not a lot of skill. That should do it. After you. Do you do it all right? It's a nice sword. I'm going to be keeping my eye on it. I hope you don't mind. Nothing personal. 
Carlia's been through here. What does she expect to find? <laughs> well... I hate to say it, Mercer, but... It sort of smells like a trap to me. Planted all those clues. <laughs> the stench in here. This place smells of death. Be on your guard. What do you think I'm doing? It's an ancient Nordic crypt, of course it smells like death. What's it supposed to smell like? Roses? Come on. Why, hello. Take long. Do me a favor. And, uh, don't walk in front of the hammer. What are you doing? All right. Pull the chain over there and watch out for the spikes. Looks like Carlia reset all of the traps. Oh, right. Well, this is going to be fun. You know what? Oh, Mercer, get out of the way. This better be important. Oh, you're going to get hit if you stand there, so back it up. Don't make me whip the hammer out. Go on. There's little time for talk. What do you want? Uh, hopefully that's out of the way enough. Oh. What did I tell you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but that was... Uh, you literally... You, you warned me not to do that, and here you are. Master of the Thieves Guild. Having used the chaotic ladder of the Riften Ratway bloodbath to your advantage. Standing in the way of a spiked gate, which you warned the newest, greenest thief in the business about. Just say it. Oh, careful of the bear traps, by the way. Fight is an execution. Why, <laughs> thank you. Your blood will adorn my blade. I'll let you take that one. I'll get this guy. Your blood will adorn my blade. Oh. What is that? Oh, right. That was a Draugr, I think. Oh, God. I think I might let him handle that. Two more of them ahead. All right, thanks. Oh hi. This shouldn't take long. Announce yourself, would you? Yeah, well. That was a droga. You can't hide from me. Oh. Get him. Oh, I'm flanked. Bone chimes. Clever. Rigged to wake the Draugr, I'd bet. Don't blunder into any of them. I don't think there's any more Draugr to wake. Look at this. I'm just saying. I realized that you were back in the hallway, but have a look around. There's no... All the coffins are empty. Take that, take that. What are you? A lot of reading. Speaking of drugger, oh. I'm not sure these things can write. Oh, this is going to be... Ooh. Right, right. 
Come on. Yeah. Uh. Right. Do a couple of those. And probably that. Die. Hey. All right. You can't hide from me. Ouch. I've killed legions like you. Familiar with Nordic tombs, then, are you? I am covered in blood, and most of it's mine. Don't like that. Is that the best you can do? There we are. Challenge. Are you kidding me? Anyway. Uh, uh, all right, it's just skeever. That's two skeevers in here. In fact, two skeevers in here. Carlia always was Hang on a second. Minx. Slipping past these Draugr must have been child's play for her. A nimble little minx. That's certainly one way to describe someone. I would describe the Scarlet as a nimble little minx, but uh, she's not. She's a little bit of a lug. <laughs> Probably why we get along so well. Mean that ship. Is this where we came in? Am I just an idiot? I don't know. Hang on. I'm just going to... Take that. Take that. Stand well back. You do not want to be here right now. And run. So you all barely got singed. You don't take me very seriously, do you? That's your mistake. Why do I have this awful feeling? That Carlia is not the one that killed Gallus. Nimble little minx is the sort of way you describe someone you're fond of. I think. I'm gonna get out of here before Mercer sticks that sword in my back. Oh, you caught up quick. Right. You can't hide from me! Don't stretch, that was your chance to get him. Oh dear. Heartless shout. Your blood will adorn my blade. You Who's there? Oh. I am. That was pretty impressive. So much for being stealthy though, right? Hang on. Oh, 
Hello. Something's oh dear. Near. I'll let you just. Uh, so ends the lesson. Take care of that. Nice. Oh, that wasn't hardly worth it. There we are. So it begins. Making this too easy. But you not look at you. Get out of my way, Mercer. I deserved that one, didn't I? We're on the right track. She's been through here as well. How can you tell that? Uh, something's near. Really? How disapp What? Disappointed? You didn't get your licks in? You gotta be quicker than that, Mercer. Don't. Oh, good. Alright, yeah, she has been through here. That door up ahead looks perfect for hiding an ambush. Be ready. I'm being ready. Ugh. Okay, just draw her. It's fine. Who's there? You get out of here, sir. I do not like any of this. All right. I'll spit on your corpse. So ends the lesson. Please keep the corpse spitting to yourself. Nothing personal, but uh. Just a little weird, you know? That's a nice X. Oh, uh, right, where are we going? Down here. Probably past the weird Nordic wall thing. Oh, I. Death will be my child. You keep saying things like that, and yet here we are. Oh, something about Talos, I don't really care. Who's there? Hardly a challenge. That's because I'm doing all the heavy hitting. Anyway, at this point I'm just asking for a dagger in my back, aren't I? Don't do it. I will put this hammer through your skull if you do. I keep doing that. Ah, it's one of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Lyra already did away with it. We're on our own. Great. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Carlyle is close, I'm certain of it. Now let's get moving. Don't stand that close to me, Mercer. I know that you said that the last place was good for an ambush. However, Look. all right. Do 
Do you honestly think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Brew Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. I'll spit on your corpse, Mercer. <laughs>